We're here at AUSA 2017 and I'm speaking to Sean Ridley, Business Development, GD OTS. Sean, um, GD OTS are showing a selection of flyer vehicles at the show. Um, could you perhaps talk us through them and, and maybe touch on some of the unique features of each example you're showing, please? Sure. We've got four variants here of the family of vehicles. Behind me, we've got the SOCOM 1.1 which we're currently delivering to U.S. SOCOM under the GMV 1.1 program. This is vehicle 169. We're on uh, about 180 trucks delivered uh, for fielding. We've got the full rate production. We're currently executing and fielding the vehicles. And, and is that vehicle uh, an absolute bog standard as delivered to SOCOM, or does it have any extras, modifications, or changes for the show? Well, there's several kits for the vehicle. This vehicle that sits right behind us is right off the production floor, um, minus the GAL-19 gun up top. And this is exactly how SOCOM gets the vehicle. There are kits that they can deliver. Uh, SOCOM, will, SOCOM will give us the orders, say, hey, we want X amount of vehicles delivered this way, or we want X amount of vehicles delivered this way. All those vehicles are, are built in Anniston and delivered to SOCOM from there. And for those that might not be familiar with the program, could you just give us a brief outline of acquisition objective and timeline and so on? Sure. The, the, like I said, we're, we're currently um, fielding just under the 180 mark for vehicles. The ceiling for the contract is 1,300 vehicles, and we're currently funded for just under 800 vehicles so far. Uh, and the vehicle directly behind me, that appears to have uh, Iron Fist Light, the active protection system, which I believe is currently being fitted to Bradley. Is that correct? That's correct. We've, we've put it on uh, our GMV 1.1 here. Um, so we could show the system and talk to it, but that is correct. It is currently being integrated and characterized and testing on the Bradley vehicle. But that aside, the vehicle directly behind me, that's again bog standard GMV 1.1? Correct. Yeah, it's just a standard GMV 1.1. We wanted to show some of our weapon capability with the Mark 47 with the integrated fire control system. And as a, as a bonus, having something here that that's, um, people can look, can look at for the APS, see what it looks like, we've put it on the GMV 1.1. Uh, and the third vehicle you're showing, would that be the GMV variant that the Army are currently talking about? Yes, we're currently um, in contract negotiations to deliver the Army a nine-man variant, which is a variant of the SOCOM program. Um, the Army is um, discussing purchasing vehicles directly off that program, uh, just under 300 vehicles in, a, in an ultralight configuration. Um, their program is named Ground Mobility Vehicle and it's a much lighter vehicle. We're basically taking, removing the majority of the soft components on the, off the vehicle and utilizing it for the Army's purpose to move their, their um, infantry brigade combat teams, nine soldier squad, in one vehicle. Uh, and again, for those that might not be familiar with, with the Army's GMV program, c could you give us an outline of, of projected timelines, projected quantities, and that sort of thing to the best of your knowledge? Yeah, we're, we're, we're just under uh, 300 vehicles, about 295 vehicles is what we were projected to deliver to the Army. Um, we should start fielding sometime early next spring uh, of an 18 if everything goes well. Um, the vehicles are currently now going through the finalization of safety testing and so forth. And as I said, we're working with the government to get the contract worked out and start delivering the vehicles. And beyond that initial 295, I understand there's a phase two? There is a phase two. So this is a... Uh, Right now we're going to deliver the 295 trucks through 18, and I believe the Army has indicated at the end of uh, 2018 there'll be an RFP for the second phase of this, which should be a full and open competition for the GMV requirement in the numbers that the Army has, has come out and uh, said, which I believe is somewhere around 1,800 vehicles. And the fourth variant, which is on the Mission Systems booth, um, that's a light reconnaissance version. Could you give us some details on that, please? As part of, uh, as part of our efforts for the, for the U.S. Army, we've... Um, adding on to the Army GMV requirement of the nine-man IBCT vehicle, we've also continued to work on the lightweight reconnaissance vehicle, which is again is another variant. It's the armored variant of the SOCOM 1.1 vehicle, and it's it's over in the Mission Systems boost for the purpose that it's got an overmatch capability, and it's got a true reconnaissance package that we've put in it. The true gives you a forward-thinking, forward observation sensory package for a reconnaissance vehicle. 
Um, and that's over in the Mission Systems booth, and that's our fourth variant. And beyond American shores, is there anything you can, you can tell us flyer related with regards to potential export sales, customers, and so on? Yeah, we're currently getting ready to deliver the first set of vehicles to the Italian Special Forces on an FMS case. So we're very excited about our first FMS case uh, relating to the GMV 1.1 program. It was a very successful program that we worked through the Italian government, GDOTS, and SOCOM. Excellent. Thank you.